Thrifty fashions, try on the blogs. Poppy cake, thrifty fashion blogs. Thrifty fashions, try on the blogs. Poppy cake, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie. I hope you are doing well. Well, today's video is going to be a little bit of a thrift with me. So let's go thrift. <laughs> because I went to get my went to the dentist to go and have a deep clean and I popped by again and picked up some amazing things so I'm just gonna kind of show you everything that I picked up and we will go from there so the other day I actually picked up this amazing hat it's 19 sort of like a 1950s I think it's I'd say it's either 1980s does 50s or 1970s does 50s but it's got this great detail of the bow and lace on the top and it literally because i've got this headband and you can't really tell but it literally just sits like that so i shall be styling this up um over on my tiktok and i will be doing some styling videos with this over here anyway so don't worry about missing out on if you don't have tiktok but i will be doing some so i picked this one up i absolutely love it it was five pounds and you know me and ties i love a good tie moment so i picked up these ties 
This one I have already styled up. I'll pop it in a little video just up here with some other bits and pieces that I actually thrifted. So this is what I did do with this. But this is like a it's got cross details on. And I really liked that. I thought that was a, a fun tie to, to have. And then I picked this one up. This is 100% silk. And it's got this great oriental style. It's got all of the what they call parasols and there is a few i think there's some there's one there like a face and things like that it's very oriental tie i love the colors very autumnal um but just a nice lovely pattern and i think i could do some really nice looks with this so we are going to go into bags now so we've had the ties and the hats so starting off with the accessories first so this one i picked up from vintage um i actually have got myself a vintage shop i shall put the link to it below i am uploading things on it weekly so if you want to pop on over there you can have a look but i got this guess belt bag now i did used to have the gucci one but it was a bootleg gucci one and this strap broke and everything so i got rid of it and i'm regretting it so i got i saw this one pick this one up and i love it i think it's great it's definitely coming on holiday with me when i go go away it's just a nice little belt bag and you know it's it's not gucci it's guess but i like that and um perfect i also picked up this belt bag which is going to be great for camping and festival seasons and all kinds of things so i am looking forward to using this in the summer this is the brand i think it's Harry cherry but there's the brand so i picked that up and i got this in my favorite little pound boutique <laughs> kemp hospice so i picked that one up i also picked this one up as well and i really love the quilting the metal details, the chain bag there. This is going to be a nice bag for the evening. It's got a vintage feel to it, but obviously it is made modern. Um, and this one cost me a pound as well, but I really love the mix of the feminine with the sort of masculine chain detail. Great juxtaposition of the bag. And then I also picked up this Chanel-esque jacket i have got a hanger somewhere what do i do with it i do not know so anyway so i picked this up and i remember one of my friends got a mark jacobs sort of tweedy style jacket we're talking 2001 2002 maybe from selfridges and I loved that jacket. I thought it looked amazing. I mean, it, would, it wasn't going to go anywhere near me and I couldn't afford to, to spend that much money on a jacket then anyway. Um, but I've always thought about it and it was very similar to this sort of colour and it just had little appliques and things on it. So I might upcycle this. I don't know. I might wear it a few times just as is and then I might upcycle it and see where we go. But this was a pound... And it is originally from Marks and Spencers. I actually don't think it's actually been worn because if you look at the lining, there's no creasing in it whatsoever. So, yeah, a pound. And next, I picked up these three quarter length camo pants. You know, I can't, you can't go wrong with camo pants. And I just love these. I love the fact that they're a little bit of a lighter camo. They go so well with the Chanel style jacket. I just grab it you can see the the tones and the colors so you could really make a nice what i want to say is a nice urban style spring outfit with this so you could still have the spring feels but make it make it street style and everything that i've got so far at the moment has been a pound just to let you know the next thing i picked up was this now this somebody's obviously cut this up because inside it looks a little bit janky and jagged but i'm not bothered i might actually just go around with a the sewing machine in the way just to finish off the edges 
but it was a jacket but somebody has turned this into a little waistcoat and I used to have one of these back in the day um, when I used to work at New Look many 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 years ago and I used to wear it all the time with my t-shirts and things so I saw this and I thought Do you know what I'm just going to pick it up and we're going to go with it you know for a pound perfect and then afterwards when I don't want it anymore I shall see sending this off to mum because she can use it in making her rag dolls and things like that so this will not go to waste now I went over to the men's section in the charity shop and I was looking at blazers and things now I don't know if you follow her if you do pop on over or if you don't pop on over I would definitely recommend because this lady is amazing and I've been watching her for I want to say nearly 10 years something like that um and her name is beth jones and she is b jones style on youtube and she picked up a french connection blazer that had already been i think it had already been frayed around the edges i'm not 100 percent sure or somebody had done and i have been looking to do this for such a long time since i saw that jacket and i just haven't found the right one this today two turned up now i have done said fraying to the other jacket i haven't done it to this one because this one has got other details that i think are better um i might end up fraying it in the future i don't know but at this moment in time i'm going to keep it just normal but here's the pocket detail i love this pocket detail so it's got like a pleat going down the center there and it's got a very very subtle pinstripe and it's like a denim a washed out denim so this was this one this was a pound by the way remember and this is in the men's section it is an amazing jacket um and it is originally from george by duffer so i picked that up for a pound which i am so chuffed about the details on it are just amazing and as i say it fits like a glove there was another blazer that i tried on it was very nice and i am a little bit kicking myself because i could have bought that one to crop i want a bit of a cropped blazer as well but doesn't matter these are the sort of places that you go to to find these sort of things because they're only a pound you can have a go at upcycling stuff yourself so here she is this is the jacket this one is originally from f and f now this one's got a, a more pronounced pinstripe but because the stitching was all of the way round, i actually went all of the way around with a pair of scissors i shall put a um put an overlay up here of me doing it and i literally just went literally about five mil in from the edge and cut it so if you look here you can see that we have got the whole thing is cut now there is like stitching just down here throughout the whole of the jacket which is why i wanted to do it with a jacket like this because i know that cotton and things are going to fray a lot easier you could get yourself just a normal blazer um i have one up there and if you wanted to all you would have to do to create this look is to sew literally all around the edge of your jacket so around so you just literally sew all around your jacket or your blazer all the way around all the way around and then literally just do like a little five mil sort of cut in so then at least you've got the barrier of the stitching where you've done the stitching so then it's not going to fray anymore but i was a bit apprehensive at first so i got my scissors out and did it and i'm so glad i did because this jacket i think is going to get worn so so much and last but by no means least i know we're in the throes of spring but it's still very chilly here at the minute and uh, i picked up this i don't know what it is with tartan at the moment but i am loving tartan and i picked up this pashmina style scarf it is so warm it is going to do perfectly for uh, we are off on a cruise next year which i'm so excited about we're going up to the fjords up in norway and this is gonna go with me because this is like so warm 
um i have quite a few other things that i want to take with me but that will be another video in in the future um so but yes yeah, so i picked this up for a pound i just love this tartan i think it's a stewart i think this is a stewart tartan please let me know if i'm right in the comments below i believe it's a stewart tartan And last but by no means least, I also picked up this lightweight dolman sleeve. I'm going to put it on. Jacket. Now, I cannot wait to wear this. It is so nice. It's lightweight. It's just a nice, nice jacket. I used to have a dolman sleeve coat jacket lightweight jacket but i did get rid of it it just wasn't hitting in the right places the color was off but this just goes with absolutely everything in my wardrobe i am switching up the the embellishments i have this one or i put on a flower or brooches and i just think it looks amazing so that is my little haul as I say, next week's video will be a styling video. I will style up all of these all of these videos. No, I won't. I will style up all of these outfits and show you little bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you tune in next week to see how I style up all of these little bits and pieces that I have picked up. I will see you on the next one. You have yourself a great day. Remember, the world is your catwalk. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. So this was going to be a separate video, but I'm just putting it on to the end anyway. So enjoy. I'm going to do a little bit of styling. So I'm going to take the jacket that I frayed and I'm going to create an outfit with that. So I thought I would first start off with my Baker Boy hat. So I'm going to pop that on. I then thought I would wear this kind of military style denim-esque shirt and I also have on my jeans and I've got on my boots that I thrifted the other day so this is where I'm kind of starting out I'm then going to add the jacket so you can have it just as is or if you wanted to you can push up your sleeves. I like to push up the sleeves and keep what I'm wearing on underneath poking out like so. So you can do something like that. And then for a bag, I am absolutely loving at the moment this little puffy bag. It's got a chain and a webbing detail. I'm just going to use that as a crossbody bag. And that is how I would dress up well, one of the ways anyway I would dress up this jacket you will probably see me in it all the time and get sick of seeing me in it but anyway I'm going to go and have a look in my wardrobe and style up another couple of bits and pieces so are we ready to style up another outfit so I have on my Moschino t-shirt my jeans and my Dot Martin shoes so this is where we are starting off I'm going to add my beret I'm then going to add this neckerchief. I'm going to add my guest belt bag. And then I'm going to add this amazing <laughs> fluffy waistcoat. I love it. I think it's such good fun. So I have on my little bum bag, this is a great, I feel very bohemian, very let's go down King's Road. Let's go and have a look in all the thrift charity shops and things. I love this outfit. It is. I just love this outfit. Right then, let's do the next one. So as I was getting dressed from the last outfit, I actually put on these the um, cropped 
camo trousers. I forgot what they were then. I've popped on my feet, I'll show you, these Puma shoes that I have had for a while. I picked these up in the charity shop for 10 pence, well, 10 pence, 10 pounds uh, when I was in Scotland visiting my mother-in-law. And so I'm going to put those on. I'm going to put these earrings in. Like so. Then I'm going to add the jacket, the lightweight jacket. I just love this jacket so much. It just adds a great amount of interest, detail and fun. And we're print mixing as well. And for a bag, I'm going to use this studded union flag bag that I picked up when I went to the Wales to go and see my mum. I love this. This is so comfortable. And if you're going out on a day out museum, going around a museum or anything like that, I think this is the perfect, perfect outfit for that. You could always even put on the guess bum bag as well. Love it. Love it. Love it. Right. So I think I have the jacket, the blazer to go or well, the two blazers. In fact, I'm going to go and get the other blazer now just to show you the difference to show you how it well it would go with this i'm going to go and get it right now so here is that other blazer now it just completely lifts the outfit doesn't it and it just adds a little something a little bit different to what we've already got on as well and this is going to be so versatile as well i think everything that i have picked up is so versatile let's get the other blazer that i picked up the denim style blazer and see how that looks See, now for street style as well, absolutely love it. And these pockets, oh, I just love the pockets. So cool. And we might as well go and get the other blazer and just put that on as well. Love it. Absolutely love it. Maybe, maybe not with these. But I don't I don't know if you wanted to do a little bit of a street style look, then you could do. But that is just a little bit of a quick try on and just to show you a few things that I would style up. I will see you next week. Next week, I have a video of I'm going to Barcelona and I don't know what to pack. So you're going to pack with me and we are going to see what things I'm going to take to Barcelona with me. So thank you so much for watching. As I said earlier on. <laughs> The world is your catwalk. You look after yourselves, look after everybody else. I will see you next week. Bye!